You, you hear that? You hear that? You know what that's the sound of? Peace. To be honest, man, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I want to say just on one. I just felt like I needed a purge from all the things that I've been doing, all the people I've been hanging around, all the places I've been going, all the thoughts I've been having. I just woke up and felt like I just needed a purge from all of that. And I don't know, like, I feel like my spirit is trying to control my body from a very pure place. But then I just kind of feel like the energy that I've been surrounding myself with has been fighting against my spirit. You ever feel like that in your life sometimes? Like, like your inner thoughts and your outer actions don't align. And so usually, you know, when I go through phases like that in my life or, or when I feel like that's happening, uh, first of all, you know, I ask myself first, is it me? Um, you know, I look at all the decisions and choices that I've been making and things like that. And I just really start retracing my footsteps in life, trying to figure out where I went wrong if I did go wrong. And so I don't spend too much time on that because you never want to get stuck in a place of blaming yourself. Um, but then once I did that, I started asking myself, well, all right, what have my environments been like? And when I look back over my life, oh my God, there has been so much turbulence in my life when it comes to almost all of the environments that I've been in, right? And I figured out like that's that's what's been having me feel so uneasy. Like I'm the type of person where if I don't feel like you're a solid human being, I don't even want to do business with you. Because if you're not solid at your foundation, what makes me think you're going to be solid in other realms? Like it would be unwise for me to even expect that, right? The people that you call your friends and the people that you hang around, are they really solid human beings? How do they treat you? Do you hear from them because they call you or do you just only hear from them when you call them? You know, if you ever got in a bind, would these people be able to support you the way you're able to support them? Like I had to start asking myself these questions and this is how I take inventory of my life and the things in it and the people in it and so when i started asking myself those questions brad i was not even surprised by the number of people that i've been allowing to be in my inner circle in my vibration that it does not serve me to allow the number of people that i've been allowing in my vibration it doesn't serve me it hasn't served me it's not ever going to serve me but what I realized is that people have me in their circles because they do see the value in me, but it's like rather than being genuine and saying, hey, I fuck with you because of this, they downplay it, manipulate you to think something totally different, and then try to play in your face and act like you the stupid one. Like, that's crazy, bruh. That's crazy to me, bruh. So when I realized, you know, Cause I ain't gonna hold you like I be a little green sometimes I don't really know how a lot of things work because I just don't operate from a place of intentionally manipulating people so it's just like whenever people want me to play that game I'm always gonna lose cuz I don't know how I go you feel me so in that way I'm, I'm real green and naive you know and so once I did kind of catch on to what the play was that's when I made the decision like you know what I think that my life is going to be much more peaceful and successful once I remove the majority of the people in it. Because the truth is, some people don't even realize you are a giant because they're standing so close to you, they can't even see the bigger picture. So you need to have those people further away so they can actually have a better view of what's really going on. And so for me, this is the reason why I choose to live the solo life. Like people, you know, they be like, oh, it's lonely, you get bored, da, da, da. No, I'm never bored. Because it really amazes me how much being by yourself, being silent, being alone, not to be confused with lonely, being in solitude, being at peace in solitude, it really amazes me how those things really intimidate and terrify people 
That's my entertainment every single day when I leave the house. I just show up and somebody's bothered. Imagine that. <laughs> Bro, my life is literally a movie. And then when I respond to the low vibrations, people try to play like, see, she's the problem. See how she's responding? Like, no. What did you do to cause the response? You could have just left me alone at peace how I was, but no, you're so miserable in your life that you wanna disrupt my peace because you see me happy and it's just something that you can't have. So you just jealous. I'm just gonna mess her day up or at least try because I'm having a bad day because my wife left me because I'm broke because I don't drive what I want to drive because I do got to wake up and go get a nine to five because I didn't put the work in but I want everything like I did. I'm just gonna go try to mess her day up. I honestly feel like that's the way a lot of people think. And for whatever reason, I don't know, like having all these people around me, is just not fulfilling. I know it's fulfilling to some people that are into fame and clout and popularity. Like I get it, bro. Y'all like that kind of stuff. I don't like that kind of stuff, bro. I don't like feeling like I'm above everyone else. Cause I don't feel that way internally. Internally, I don't feel like I'm above everyone else. I don't even think that way. So I don't want to ever be in a position where somebody's putting me on a pedestal and placing me under a, a, a magnifying glass or a microscope, trying to dissect every little thing I do and, and find the imperfections because I rather just show my imperfections from the jump. You feel me? And that way nobody can ever use them against me because I own them. I own it. So if I own it and you don't own it, how are you going to use it against me? You don't even own it. I own, I'm the owner. I am the owner of all of the master recordings of my life. I own everything that has happened to me, good, bad, or indifferent. Literally everything. I own it. And so my goal in life is to just keep the master copy of everything I own. I'm keeping my publishing. I'm not gonna sell the rights of my life to somebody else. Like, it's not your story to tell. It's my story to tell. And I get to tell it however I want because I'm the producer, the director, and the DP. You feel me? And so that's the place I operate from. And you know, I can't control how people act. I can't control how people respond to seeing a true strong black woman I can't control any of that I can't control people's responses I can only control my response and I choose not to be passive aggressive in my response to the disrespect I receive on a daily just by being at peace in my solitude it's, it's like people try to make you pay a price to access your own peace it's insane man so like, yeah, most days I do just chill in the house, bro. Like, oh, some, some days I really just be like, I don't feel like being bothered with people today. I'd rather play Grand Theft Auto or I'd rather find me a movie to watch, turn my fireplace on because God has afforded me the freedom to do that comfortably. I love the fact that my phone is not constantly ringing 24 seven. That's peace to me. It's just peaceful, bro. Like every person in this city wishes they were in this position right here to just chill, watch TV as long as you want. Ain't nobody finna tell you you gotta be nowhere. You ain't gotta go check in with nobody. You ain't gotta go clock in with nobody. You could just chill, watch your shows, play your video games, smoke your weed, whatever it is you do. Work on your music, play your drums, walk your dog, talk on your phone, however long you want. Ain't nobody gonna interrupt you. You do you. You even purchased a piece of the city where you can do you. Now ain't nobody really gonna bother you because this is your space. Your name is on it. You own that. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Ain't nobody ringing your doorbell. You know what I mean? Like you don't owe nobody no money. You could just chill. Enjoy the beautiful sights of the city, the beautiful mountains and the, the sun and the perfect weather during the summertime. You can just chill. You're free to enjoy all of that. You don't have to talk to nobody. You don't need nobody's job opportunity. You can just chill. Your bills are gonna be paid just the same. You're gonna be fine. Everybody wants to be in that position, right? Who don't wanna be in that position? 
It's women out here that think that they gotta go get a man to be in that position. Do you see any men anywhere around here, bro? It's women that think they gotta have kids to be in that position. But how is it that I don't have a man, I don't have a partner, I don't have kids, I don't have a strong support system, I don't have all the money in the world, I don't have clout, I don't have fame, I don't have millions of followers, I don't wear makeup, I don't have a BBL, I don't have any body modifications. I don't have any of these things that people are thinking that this is what it takes for me to get to where I'm literally at right now in this moment. I don't have any of those things, but yet I'm still here. So what is the lesson in that? You feel me? Like I be asking myself like, what's the lesson? Like, hmm, out of all the things I have, the most valuable thing I have is freedom. And I feel like that's all everybody really wants is freedom. Like people are so busy trying to attach themselves to someone. They don't understand if the ultimate goal is freedom. How can you attain freedom if you're so busy trying to attach yourself to another person? You spend the first 17, 18 years of your life being attached to your parents as they're dependent. Hopefully after high school, most people go to college. College is important, not just for the educational aspect, but because you need four, at least four years of your life where you're not attached to anybody. You're actually focused on who you are as a person, what you like, what you don't like, and the kind of adult you would like to be. That is the purpose of college. You're gonna grow, you're gonna develop, and form new communities. You're gonna meet people you like, people you don't like. That is really where you really find your identity. You're gonna be around people you've never been around in life before. It's almost like a taste test to the real world before you actually get in the real world. Some people look at college like, oh, well, if they gonna teach me something new, I don't wanna go. Like, what? That's the whole point. So when you tell me like, oh, you didn't go to college simply because School ain't for you. I'm not buying that, bruh. I'm not. Now, if you didn't go to college because you just couldn't afford it, that's different. You feel me? But if you just saying you didn't, you had the means to go, but you just didn't go because you didn't want to better yourself and learn something new, bruh. Bruh, that's tough, bruh. That's tough. And then you just, you have people like me. I went to college, but I threw a little curveball in my path. I threw the military in there too. That was never on the bingo card for my life, never. Never as a kid did I ever say, I want to grow up and be in the army. I didn't even know what that was. Like, I still didn't know what it was the day I signed up. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. All I knew was that I was trying to get, literally remove myself from the town I was going to college in because I just felt the racism, like, in the hairs on my arm and shit, right? Like, the racism was so thick, you could cut it with a knife. For that reason alone, like, I never regret joining the army, bro. Like, I know people be hating on it a lot because they see how I live and other veterans live that actually took advantage of a very simple opportunity. And um, people be hating and shit, but, like, I, I, none of that shit bothers me for real because it's just like, bro, you have the same option, bro. You can go do it, too. You're not too old. If you want what I got, then go do it. You know what I'm saying? You really that dude, go enlist, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you scared? You know what I'm saying? Like, people really will make you, you know what I'm saying? People have you out here thinking, yeah, you know, I'm gang, I'm gang, gang, and da, 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 da. But it's just like, all right, bro, well then go kill a nigga for real. Go get paid to do it. Put your money where your mouth is, and we shall see who's real and who's not. And then when you do that, then and only then can you sit here and criticize my life or hate on my life or be mad that I have something that you don't have for the work that I did that you didn't do. Period. Because I am by myself so much, I have a lot of time to think. I'm about to get dressed and go downtown so I can um, shoot some more content for the day. But I ain't even gonna hold y'all, bruh. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you love this video, hit the subscribe button. But either way, y'all already know how it goes. Till next time. Peace.